thought for the day. If you are dyslexic and you're a Mormon, do you go to the LSD church? Saw this guy on the street the other day with a t-shirt, uh, well, a muscle shirt, but it was a little beyond the usual. It's like down here. In fact, both nipples were showing. It's such a skimpy shirt. I'm thinking at that point, what's, what's the point? What's the point of a shirt? Got both of them hanging out. There's really nothing more you can do. It might as well go shirtless. I don't think your shirt is fulfilling the mission of a shirt at that point. Probably could get them in a convenience store, technically, though. What if you were, like, talking with a friend about the devil, having a conversation, and then he shows up, the devil himself, and you go, Speak of the devil. <laughs> We go to a pretty big church, and my son and I notice there are braille signs in the church at a certain intersection in the hallway, and in braille it says lounge on the wall. Like there's a blind person going to just be wandering around in this hallway with all these sighted people, because it's not a church for the blind. If there was a blind person, they wouldn't have to feel along the massive hallway just to come to a little braille sign that says lounge, so that they know to wave their white stick until they find a chair and sit down. That's weird. Also the restrooms, that's weird. Men and women, can you imagine a blind person having to go all the way up to the corner, feeling around, trying to get, where's the men's room? And they feel M-E-N and they forgot the W-O, whoops. All these people screaming, but the women screaming at the blind man. He can't see him anyway, let him do his business. If he can find the toilet. Fashion models have a window of opportunity, and then when they age, they lose that opportunity. I'm not pretty, so I don't have that window. I can go on and on with my career. It's unlimited. As soon as I start my career, I can just keep going. I'm only 58, and one of these days I'm going to start my career, and when I do, I won't have to rely on my good looks fading away and being confused as to what to do. Or like a sports athlete who has to lose that physical energy that no longer can they perform and they have to retire. And that's not me. I don't rely on my physical energy or my looks. I can just keep going and annoying and producing material forever. Johnny Rooster Comedy. Subscribe if you dare. I don't require much of my wife. It's probably one of the best things ever in the world is being my wife. I wouldn't know because I'm not her, but it's a good gig. One thing I do require is she must scratch my back when I have a back itch, and that is every five minutes or so, depending on the day. And she has to scratch it in the right place at the right intensity. And not too high, not too low, to the left or the right. It has to be that spot. And she doesn't ever find it the very first try. Or at least rarely. So I'm like, finally. I'm like, no, higher, higher. No, 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 no. Lower, lower. Oh, to the right, to the left. Oh, a oh, little harder. Not, no, no, too hard. Okay, why didn't you start there? Finally she gets it. Why didn't she just start in the place that I itched? I get a back itchy a lot, so my back gets to be itchy a lot. I can't get to it, and my wife has to do the dirty work. Anyway, isn't it odd how itches, especially back itches, move? You start scratching, and then it's up. Oh, no, a little higher, a little lower, to the left, to the right. Oh, a little harder. No, not too hard. I don't know why, but itches move. I wonder what triggers the movement of the itch. It's like the, the jet stream flowing in. It's the itch stream. It's like an itchy coming in and then it's sweeping down. Now it's up here. Where did it go? I don't know. It's over there now. Woo! Where'd the... Whoa. Looking for the itch. I think it's odd how dogs mark their territory. You know, hike a leg and do their thing. Wouldn't that be weird if settlers in the early world marked their territory? Columbus comes over to the new world and he just hikes his leg and says, This is my territory. What if you have a builder of a construction site and they're like, you know what, we just bought this lot, I better mark my territory, hikes the leg, gets the fire hydrant out, does his thing. Anybody else showing up on this new lot, they'll know, they'll just sniff it and they'll know it's mine. 
I have a very strange wife. I try to sweep the floor one day. I was just recently, in fact, just now. I was grabbed a broom and started sweeping the kitchen floor to help, and she said, no, no, you can't do it that way. No, no. You gotta get the dustpan and the broom together, and she starts putting them together. I was just sweeping with the broom, freestyling it, and gonna put it in a pile, and then take the dustpan, that's what I do, and then sweep it into the dustpan. Nope, you gotta move the dustpan broom simultaneously and sashay around the room. So she takes it away. I'm so inadequate. But you know, I don't mind. I didn't really wanna sweep anyway. So I guess it worked out for me. I've got the best wife in the world. I mean, she refuses to allow me to do the dishes. Now, I don't like doing dishes, so that's perfect. She insists on doing the dishes. We don't have a dishwasher. She's the dishwasher. We wash by hand. I try, and she just takes it over. And like, that's my job. I want to do it. I don't mind, I guess, you know. Okay. My wife is amazing. She insists on doing the laundry. Every time I try to do the laundry, nope, 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 nope. That's my job. That's woman's work. Very traditional wife. I think she should be Asian. She's very traditional. She should be at least 70 years old. But she's not. She's young and beautiful. And she still wants to do the laundry and insists on it. Well, frankly, I'd like to do the laundry once in a while. But she doesn't want me to. So I won't. I have to wait. You know how if you eat a little too much sugar and you get a little of that irritation in the inside of your mouth? That's so weird, that little irritation, it's sore in there, little canker sore. I got one of those. I guess I ate too much sugar. And my inside of my mouth is telling on me. It's like, ouch, oh, I touched it, ouch, it hurts right there. When you feel it with your tongue, it's like, your tongue has to go in a little exploration exhibit. Like, mm -hmm, yep, that's it, it hurts. There's a little swelling in there. The tongue comes back to it. Yep, it hurts. Mm -hmm. Yep, it still hurts. And then your tongue does it again. Yep. And then you kind of like puff your cheeks out like, mm, oh, that hurts. Ouch. I hate that. I'm never going to eat sugar again until I see some candy in that bowl. When I was young, I was extremely shy. In fact, by shy, I mean we were sitting at the family table, just our family, and I was too shy to ask for something out of reach at the table. That's pretty shy. I was 20 before I could talk. The reason I could talk to anyone after age 20 is because I was in a stage play in college. It took me second year of college before I really was comfortable. Third year of college, actually. I was a junior. That's when I started talking to people. Once I got a character on stage and I could develop that and do very well and get the appreciation and the applause, I translated that into the real world. So I recommend acting if you can't speak.